what's up YouTube land, it's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Hey, ball. And today we'll be reviewing the 90s Batman villain Two-Face, and he teamed up with the Riddler in one of the Batman movies. I forget the name of it on top of my head somewhere. In my head somewhere. But yeah, Two-Face. He's got a gun. And he was one of my favorite Batman villains. He'll pew pew, bang bang with that handgun. Two-Face was that bad. Now we're going to bring some other supervillain comparisons here. We got another DC supervillain, Solomon Grundy. Sorry, I don't have a figure of Solomon Grundy. We got Mr. Freeze. He was in one of the Batman movies. The Penguin. Ooh, doesn't remember the bad old Penguin. Harley Quinn. Jokers. Female supervillain sidekick. Got her. And here we got another Joker. And yeah, he's a fast food toy. He doesn't have any articulation, but he can go like hammer time. Pow, pow. And besides that, we got a Batman to compare with this Batman. This is from the new Batman movie that came out, I think, last year. And of course, none other than the boy wonder himself, because we can't have Batman without Robin. Teen Titans go, Robin. But I finally got Robin in my collection. And is a 90s Batman Two-Face worth adding to any Batman collection? Especially if you don't have a Two-Face posable action figure. Yes, he was awesome in that movie. And I'm so glad to have a figure of bad old Two-Face. And he is definitely going to be in my collection for a very long time. From the 1990s, man. Yep. And that's all there is to say for this review. Before we move on, we'll give a little bit of a preview for next week's toy review. We got some more fast food toy Transformers that actually transform. We got this Transless Beast Wars knockoff from McDonald's here. An animated ratchet. So look forward to next week's reviews. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.